majoring in? Um, my major is journalism and I have a focus in sports broadcasting. Okay, so um, what got you interested in specializing in sports? Um, it was the summer before my senior year. I thought that I wanted to be a marine biologist, or summer before senior year in high school. I thought I wanted to be a marine biologist and um, I figured out I hate the ocean, I hate sharks. I like going to the ocean, but yeah. And so they were trying to take down the basketball goals in my neighborhood. And it was myself and this other guy, they put us in charge of speaking up for the teenagers of like why we should keep the basketball goals. It was like us versus the adults. And it was on Channel 5 and it was like this big deal. And so um, afterwards like the teenagers won and everyone was like, did you write that yourself? Like that was so good. And so that's whenever Erin Andrews went through her like peephole scandal. And I liked how she handled herself. And I've always grown up with like baseball and football. And I was like, maybe I should look into that, like sports journalism. So um, did you come in as a freshman doing sports? Yes. And um, what has been your path to success? Um, I would say it's really cliche because it's what every freshman gets told like when they <laughs> first get to school. But um, I really, whenever people told me to get to know my professors, I really listened to those people because um, I learned very quickly that the professors especially, I mean I'm sure it's like this in the other colleges too, but the professors in this college, they, most of them are still in the business or are have very um, good connections still in the business. So uh, Dr. Swan was my, has been my advisor and so he got me started doing stuff with ESPN and then um, doing stuff with ESPNU and he helped me get my internship at WBIR which now has turned into an actual job. So. Um, yeah, I'd say that the connections that I've made through professors has really helped me get to what I've been able to do so far. How long were you with ESPN? Um, well, all of last year. It started with college game day whenever they came for the Florida game. Um, they chose a junior, a senior, and a grad student to help with that, and I was the junior. And um, from there, I just met more people, and then they're like, hey, we're going to be at UT, we're going to be in Atlanta, we're going to be in Nashville. Anytime they're anywhere around this area, they just call me and we're like, come help. And they'll still, to this day, call me. So it's been a little over a year now. That's awesome. Um, what sports do you mostly write for or report on? I mainly report on football because uh, I'm the high school sports reporter for WBIR, and even though it's sports reporter, uh, it should be high school football reporter because um, we don't report on other sports, basically. <laughs> I mean, if somebody goes to like a championship game or something, we'll cover that. But for the most part, it's just football, especially now, like it being in season. And I'll go cover the balls whenever they need me to. And yeah. Um, what skills are necessary to be successful? Um, I feel like you really need to be a people person because if you can't talk, I don't know how you're going to report. Um, and also just being able to write. If you don't have a strong vocabulary or you know the AP style book, it's going to be hard to um, put out a credible story and not get completely criticized. <laughs> so um, I feel that those are the biggest two. But definitely like for on air, which is what I want to do, you have to have a big personality or else Nobody's going to watch if you're talking like this, and nobody's <laughs> going to watch that, you know, like, you got to be bubbly. Okay. Um, have you had to report on any interesting s sports? Hmm. Well, I haven't really had to do, like, any, like, interesting, interesting, like, ping pong or something, like, you know, I've like, <laughs> never had to do a story like that, but um, I guess the most interesting sport that I've had to cover just for myself would be a sport that I don't know that much about because then I'm also learning at the same time. So like soccer, I've never been a big soccer person at all. Mm -hmm. My neighbors tried to make me into a soccer player and I made them into cheerleaders. <laughs> so um, I guess that was, that was only interesting for me. It's not really an inter I mean, it is an interesting sport to people, but not like um, an unusual sport. Mm -hmm. There we go. <laughs> okay, and what do you find to be difficult with your job? Um, what can be difficult, for example, yesterday, I'm doing previews on um, some of the playoff games. So I have to call the coaches. I'm like, hey, when's a good time for me to come by practice, get an interview? And uh, sometimes they just don't want to answer their phone. So like yesterday, it's like, do I just show up to the practice? And so that's what I was going to do. But luckily, like 
right before I got there, um, the school I was about to be at, the coach was like, hey, we are about to be on the field. So I looked up there, and then I was about to just go on over to the other school too. <laughs> and the same thing happened with that. The coach was like, hey, we're only going to be out here till 5 today. So it all ended up working out. But sometimes coaches, like whenever, because um, I work for football too, I say the coaches, they never grow up. They're still a football player, like at heart. And so um, it's sometimes really hard to get a hold of them. And what's your favorite part about your job? Um, the fact that I get to enjoy sport while I'm getting paid, you know, like I love going to games. There's nothing I love more than um, going and watch a good football game or baseball game. And uh, just the fact that I get to tell other people about the game that I got to watch, you know, like it's not like something that you have to go sit in a desk, at a desk for hours on end, um, like most people have to do, you know, it's, you're out there, you get a different scenery every single time you go out and get to meet new people. Yeah. Um, how do you keep up with sports news? Uh, Twitter's a lot of it.